Level 3 Personal Training Anatomy and Physiology The Endocrine System By the end of this session you will be able to describe the functions of the endocrine system, identify the major glands in the endocrine system, explain the function of hormones including growth hormone, thyroid hormones, corticosteroids, catecholamines, insulin and glucagon. The role of the endocrine system. Along with the nervous system, the endocrine system helps maintain homeostasis. However, instead of using electrical messages, it uses chemical messengers called hormones. The effects therefore are generally longer lasting with the endocrine system. For example, the defensive reflex action, which occurs when you overstretch a muscle, stops almost immediately when the stimulus is removed. However, if your muscles lock up due to fright or threat, it can be a while after the threat has been removed before homeostasis returns. Insulin, glucagon and the control of blood glucose. Carbohydrate is the principal fuel for vigorous activity and normal brain function. However, large fluctuations in blood glucose levels can be extremely damaging, even fatal. Good control of blood glucose levels is therefore essential. Insulin and glucagon Two hormones which are produced in the endocrine gland called the pancreas have this responsibility. Insulin. After consuming a meal, blood glucose levels rise. Insulin causes cells to become more permeable to glucose, so it diffuses out of the bloodstream. Insulin therefore causes a lowering of blood glucose levels. Glucagon. However, should blood glucose levels become too low between meals or during extended exercise, glucagon triggers a release of glycogen from the liver. Adrenaline, also known as epinephrine. Adrenaline is one of a category of hormones known as catecholamines produced by the adrenal glands which are situated on top of each kidney. Adrenaline prepares the body for activity as part of the stress response. The hypothalamus triggers the adrenal glands to secrete more adrenaline, which causes the following. An increase in heart rate and stroke volume. Elevation of blood glucose levels. Redistribution redistribution of blood to working tissues and an opening up of the airways. Testosterone. Testosterone is produced in the testes of the male and in small amount in the ovaries and adrenals of the female. Males produce up to 10 times more testosterone than females primarily responsible for the development of the male secondary sexual characteristics such as facial hair and body hair and greater muscle mass. Testosterone also plays a fundamental role in the growth and repair of tissue. Raised levels of testosterone are indicative of an anabolic training status. Estrogen Oestrogen is produced primarily in the ovaries in the female, with a small amount produced in the adrenals in males. Women of reproductive age have significantly higher levels of oestrogen than males, which gives rise to female secondary sexual characteristics, such as breast development and regulation of the menstrual cycle. For both males and females, however, oestrogen has many functions, 
but in particular has an influence on the fat dis distribution around the hips, buttocks and thighs. Cortisol. Cortisol comes under the category of corticosteroids, typically referred to as a catabolic hormone associated with tissue breakdown. Secreted by the adrenal glands under times of stress, such as exercise. Serves to maintain energy supply through the breakdown of carbohydrates, fats and protein. High levels of cortisol can cause the following. Excessive stress. Poor sleep. Inadequate nutrition. Significant breakdown of muscle tissue. And other potentially harmful side effects. Growth hormone. Primarily an anabolic hormone responsible for most of the growth and development during childhood up until puberty. Growth hormone is released from the pituitary gland in the brain and is regulated by the nearby hypothalamus. It is stimulated due to various factors including estrogen and testosterone levels, deep sleep and vigorous exercise. It also increases the development of bone, muscle tissue and protein synthesis. Growth hormone increases fat burning and strengthens the immune system. Thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones are responsible for human metabolism. They are secreted from the thyroid gland which is located at the base of the neck just below the thyroid cartilage also known as the Adam's apple. Release of thyroid hormones is regulated by the pituitary gland. Other functions include the regulation of basal metabolic rate, protein synthesis, sensitivity to adrenaline, heart rate, breathing rate and body temperature. Low thyroid function can lead to low metabolism, fatigue, depression, sensitivity to cold and weight gain. However, figures show it affects less than 3% of the population. The effects of exercise upon the endocrine system. Following strength training and moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise, testosterone growth hormone and cortisol levels increase. The cortisol produced helps maintain energy levels during normal exercise activity and facilitates recovery and repair during the post-exercise period. However, extremely intense or prolonged bouts of endurance training tends to lower testosterone levels while still raising cortisol levels. Under these circumstances, Catabolism is likely to outstrip anabolism and gives rise to symptoms of overtraining. Can you now describe the functions of the endocrine system? Identify the major glands in the endocrine system and explain the functions of hormones including growth hormone, thyroid hormones, corticosteroids, catecholamines, insulin, and glucagon. For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk.